Detective Comics issue 1026 finds a group of private security guards moving some money from a bank when they are attacked by Killer Croc, who overturns their truck before coming for the men. The guards open fire on him, but the bullets do nothing but anger the villain. Grabbing two of the men, he drags them into the sewer. The remaining guard fires into the hole, but Batman stops him with a batarang, telling him to stop since he could hit his friends. Batman asks what happened and who did this, learning that it was a giant croc monster from the guard, who reveals that they've been hired to bring money from the few banks still in operation to more secure locations. Batman knows it's not like Croc to leave money behind and grab hostages instead, as nearby a supermarket is evacuated as people claim to have sighted a monster. Something grabs at a couple running out of the store, taking them into the sewer as Batman hears the scream, telling the curious guard that he heard it thanks to his cow's sound GPS amplifier. He knows the screams are related to the guards being taken as he reaches the area, learning a couple were dragged into the sewer by some type of tentacle. Heading into the sewer, Bruce has his suit analyze the water, finding it highly toxic, which will result in mutation of genes and death. Knowing he's on the clock, Batman scans the tunnels, hearing voices so racing through the dirty underground, he comes towards a throne room of sorts which Killer Croc presides over. Croc introduces his mutated King's Court as Batman says that he thought the villain had turned over a new leaf and was staying out of Joker's war. Croc says he did, but then Joker's men laid waste to his part of the city and destroyed the hotel he owned. Deciding enough was enough, he returned to the sewers and thanks to the toxic sludge he had stashed away, he made his own monster town in the sewers, where they hoped to be left alone. Batman asks what happened to all these mutated people, learning from Wayland that it was the Joker who told his clans to spread the chemicals that were inside Ace Chemicals, spilling it into the sewer and tainting everything, including a gang that was hiding in the pipe junctions above the sewers. Thanks to the amount of chemicals, the gang's hideout was soon flooded with them, infecting each of them with its toxins. Before the gang drowns in the murky water, Croc fished them out, rescuing them and telling Batman that he plans on bringing more people down into the sewers to save them from the insanity of the surface world, and despite them being mutated, at least they are alive and will be alive when the war ends, so they will be able to establish their own monster town again with whomever Waylon wants. Batman says that Croc is building to death since the waters he sampled with his suit are killing anyone who is exposed to it. Croc thinks that Batman is lying, sending his mutated soldiers out to kill the Batman. Donning a rebreather, Batman dives into the water, knowing he can't stay submerged for long. Croc dives in after him, swiping at the water as Batman rises from the murky waters, throwing his batarangs at the mutants, taking out the weapons and knocking out the gang. Croc says that if Batman puts him down, then he will let the hero take him to Arkham. But if he takes Batman down, the villain will be allowed to walk free. Batman knows that that he won't leave with the people he took and Waylon agrees, attacking Batman. Batman and Killer Croc fight throughout the sewer, each getting hits in on the other until Batman ends the fight by smashing a piece of concrete rebar over the villain's head. Later on in Arkham, the villain and his men are imprisoned. Batman says that the group will receive the best treatment available to them and if anything can be done to reverse the effects of the toxin, he will find it. Batman joins Waylon in his cell, telling him that the people he abducted are safe and the villain put up a hell of a fight and he appreciates Waylon for honouring the deal they had. Croc says that there is a struggle in him to keep any sense of normality and just when he did get that, it was taken away from him, finding the life he lives is just a living death. Batman knows that that doesn't excuse what he did with kidnapping the people, but he can't blame him for giving in to his base emotions, like how he finds it harder and harder to take the mask off lately, but he knows they need Need to try harder since they all have had something taken away from them and it ends up changing them. He tells Waylon the trick is to not give in to the darkness that defines them. Killer Croc shakes Batman's hand, thanking him for using his real name. Detective Comics issue 1026 was a neat Killer Croc centric storyline that kind of strips out the stuff that made last issue feel like an editor mandated tie in in favour of Batman just thrown down with Waylon Jones. It was cool seeing a continuation of Waylon's story from Gotham City Monster monsters and how Joker's war ruined everything he'd worked hard for. So of course the villain wants a little bit of revenge and I love Batman trying and ultimately succeeding in convincing the villain that what he's doing isn't really the right way to go about it. Still this and the previous issue should have just been like standalone one shot stories not tied into Joker war, mainly because Joker war is a story built so tie-ins can't 
really happen since Batman has to be alone for it to work. Yet they still managed to find a way, but at least this one was a little more reserved with how it told its story compared to the previous issue. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.